So we they call Dr. Otabo about this allegation where we hear. See in hospital now organ harvesting uh, center where then they Come deceive on, people. Uh, Dr. Otabo, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Our family. We are doing well. Thank God. Uh, first of all, I want to make I appreciate you for one case where you do, even though I tell you, say, make you come out your hand. One woman will carry a uh, complaint, come here against her husband with a swollen stomach. We talk, say, the husband uh, abandoned him in her sickness and now water they gather for her belly. If they come out the water, the water they can't gather again. Where I send her to you only for one to discover, say, the fibro itself don't match up. I be waiting when I discover that time. Ah, okay. That is a uh, federal government is that. Uh -huh. And when I discover, say, the woman yes. lie. Mm. Yes. I say, make you. One of the most I say, make you not do she the. She came to the hospital. Yes. Mm. But she came to the hospital and said uh, that she, she's your sister, that you are the one that sent her. I now called Akarama Kala. He said it's true that. I said, okay, that's fine. If he's from you, that's all I want to know. So we, you know, you initially said she was not a bit honest. But mm. I felt, so if this woman is not operated, she, she would not have survived for one month. Are you serious? The thing was pushing. Yes, the thing was pushing on her lungs already. Mm -mm. The abdomen was very big. We operated her. It was a big, big problem for us. Her, her hospital bill is over 5 million as that we speak. 5 million naira? Yes. Yes. Over 5 million. She spent two months plus in the hospital. Yes. But the problem now is that we took the sample to the lab. Unfortunately, we discovered that it's a cancer. Mm -hmm. So, that that's another big problem. So, we don't, we don't do all Thanks. those cancer things in, in big detail. So, I'm, I'm going to uh, refer them to maybe national hospital where they have cancer center where they can uh, continue with her care. Thank you. Milk we appreciate no, for okay. uh, Dr. Otabo. Yes. Sir. You got allegation where they work all over. The barista Pamela tell me say even daily trust carry on. Say and Akramakala talk say he did all over social media. Mean as somebody munch them, send them to me say see the person where uh, you they support see what you do now I make i say make i call you now true say your hospital don't turn to you where then they do organ harvesting say when are the little young people um um under age people 17 years and above above around the, all this uh, maraba and co uh carry them come when i go deceive them when i go join them with people where need kidney transplant when I go come give them one million naira, when I go come abandon them. Now the allegation be that. <laughs> Not very president. Mm -hmm. You have known me for some time. I have much ranks for that. The kidney transplant surgery that we do in Alliance Hospital is less than 10% of the Alliance Hospital uh, project. But I don't know if you have time now, because what, what you have brought up now, is a, is a, is a, it will take me time to explain. The whole world is listening to you now, including the Daily Trust, where you publish them, and the people who put them for social media. So, talk and make we hear. Good. When are they ready to re listen to Rabi? When are they ready? Those in support say, Way! Way! Carry on. Thank you, sir. <laughs> on present, when I was growing up as a young boy in the secondary school, when I read something in the newspaper, I will take it as a gospel truth, and I can bet my life on that. But in today's Nigeria now, when you read newspaper, you read one paragraph, you first wait and ask who is writing it, mm. what, is his, what is his interest, which which party is he, who is sponsoring it, who is the owner of the newspaper. They they are spoiling the country, and they are they are they are making a mess of this country. What is happening here, honorary president, is truth on trial. And truth crushed to the ground will rise again. Some people are greedy and they are being used. I don't know where this fight against me is coming from. But because I'm innocent, God will deliver me from all of them. And at the end of the day, we will have the victory. 
Let me give you a background. 2017, when I noticed that the rate of kidney failure was so high in Nigeria and people were not able to afford a, a transplant abroad because to do transplant abroad to cost an average of forty to fifty thousand dollars. People were dying anyhow from kidney transplant. I decided that I said, you know, I'm going to do something about just the way I set up an hospital and we are stopping people from going abroad for spine surgery and uh, hip replacement and all that. So well, we got into partnership with some Indian specialists and we were good, we started and we were very successful on the 2014, uh, on the 2020 when the COVID came and they, they had to leave. But then they had taught us how to do it and we have gained all the experts. Now we started, we, we continued and the, the success story is still there. Before we started, we looked at the laws that are governing kidney transplant or, or organ transplant in Nigeria. And though it was a bit scant, but it, it was still good enough to regulate the practice. And what does the law say? Number one, anybody who is going to donate an organ must be above 18 years. Number two, he must do it freely or on his own free will. And number three, there must not be financial consideration. Nobody should offer you money for it. Even though after the program, after the transplant, they may give you something like compensation for the pain and you know, to take care of yourself. And so because it is the law saying, saying this now. It is the law saying compensation. It is the law. Mm -hmm. Nigerian law. law. Says you, yes, mm. yes, yes, that you can give compensation. But they didn't say what compensation means, but they say you can give. You know, that the the residents are giving compensation. They do not come giving compensation. So based on this, we draw up our protocol. So as a rule, sir, patients that come for kidney transplant in in Alliance Hospital, they are to come with their donors. That one is very clear. So in um, um, May last this year, I got a letter from the Commissioner of Police FCT requesting to that, that one of our staff, our kidney transplant surgeon by name Dr. Aremu, that it should come to the uh, police for interrogation with respect to kidney transplant allegation and illegal organ mm -hmm. harvest and all that. So he went, they arrested him. I, I wanted to blame him. They said, no, that it, it, what, what they invited him for is a very serious issue. So I went to meet the commissioner of police. I said, why, why did you, why are you arresting my staff? He said that there's a let an allegation against us. I just want to use one minute to read that letter. He said, and it was written by one barrister, T.I. Lawal, Esquire, from Lawal Idris Law Office. We are counseled and solicitors to Sam and Salah Udin at this point. In massacre local government here, here after referred to as our client. The focus of our complaint is that sometime in February 2023, one Mr. Emmanuel Melody, who is a staff of Alliance Hospital FCT Abuja, lured and brainwashed his son by name, Olua, to be cl uh, clients to their to their hospital, that's Alliance Hospital, and remove his kids. The hospital at that Alliance paid our client the sum of one million naira for the organ for the organ. The money was paid through Mr. Emmanuel Melody, who is the staff of the said hospital. It is also the brief of our client that the operation or removal of the organ was done by Dr. Aremu. That after the operation, he, that our client's life was threatened by the staff of the hospital, that they should disappear from Abuja. If not, he will be killed. It is surprising and, and dismayed that our client did not go through both scientific and legal tests to ascertain whether he passes the requirement for the removal of the organ. The hospital did not care whether there was a mismatch before the operation was conducted. Our client knows the hospital, also knows the doctor who conducted the transplant surgery. Once since Olu Atobi left Abuja, he could not come back due to threat unleashed to him by the hospital management. Our client is 17 years old. He was supposed to write his jam exam this year. He could not write as his life was in danger. And so 
So he left for Lagos. It is our passionate request and plea that you conduct discreet and intensive investigation because the issue of organ harvest is trending and prevalent in the society. Most, especially our client, is not feeling okay medically since the Jumbo of kidney. We urge you that, that all the people involved in this heinous crime be arrested and by the uh, uh, arrested be the doctor, staff, and the rest of We are grateful for your anticipated action. Be assured of our professional tenacity. Start to start with, Emmanuel signed who, uh, who signed the letter? Signed by who? Who's, signed by Lawal Idris Law Office. It's signed by T.I. Lawal Esquire. Thank you. And from the stamp of Lawal Idris Law Office was there. Mm -hmm. Start to start with, the Emmanuel Melo that they said is a staff of Alliance of Blue, I have not seen him before. Because we have many staff... Was he ever a staff of Alliance Hospital even before? He has, he has never, ever been a staff. Have you ever and employed... Even, hold on, hold on. Have you ever employed anybody by the name Melody in your hospital? Never, sir. So, never. So continue. Yes. So, I, I asked my HRO head of HR, I said, come, is there anybody like this in our field? They said, no. So, I, I left that. Then, the police went ahead to do a thorough investigation. So, before we did the surgery for this Emmanuel Melos, because it is the, well, before we did the surgery for this, uh, uh, this young boy, it was one of our patients that brought him. Mm -hmm. So, after the clinical Wait, assessment... Wait, one of the patients... Then, hold on. One of the yes. patients brought the young man to the hospital? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. If it's not like they met... Come and bring, okay. No, patients will come and bring donors and say, we have found donors. Sometimes it can take them one month, two months, as the case may be. Eventually, when they get the donor, they will bring the donor and say, we have found a, 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 we have found a donor. Mm. Then, when they hand over the donor to us, then we start screening the donor. We do all the tests to make sure they are matching. We ensure that they, they, are, they, uh, they meet all the requirements. Then, after that, once we find out that the, the, match, the test, the, the, the donors have matched, we also do further tests to ensure that the, the, the kidneys are okay. It takes almost like one month for all this process to be done. It's not one day, you know. Mm. You don't just grab somebody and put him in and take him for surgery. So when we ascertained that there was a good match, we now, get, we now told him to go and swear an affidavit in the high court, and he went. In that affidavit, uh, this boy um, um, admitted to a court, he swore to an oath that he was above 18 years old at that time, of the surgery, and that he also saw that the patient directly is his uncle, and he also admitted in that affidavit that there was no pressure, there was no, he, he was not under any duress, and he was doing it at his free will, and that no money was given to him. So the police investigated. We are, which, co court. which court did do this affidavit? It is Federal High Court. Okay, so. Uh, uh, federal, so no, no, not Federal High Court of Justice, Federal Capital Territory. FCT Apple. High Court. Okay, continue. Yes, FCT High Court. Mm. Yes. If you go to the the website of the High Court, you will still see his affidavit. Mm. So when the police got the, the statement from me and the statement from my doctors, they went into investigation. They went. They even got to the High Court. They met the, the lady that administered the affidavit to this boy. They asked him, did this boy come here to do affidavit? He said, yes. Was he under any duress? He said, no, that the boy was standing on the counter and giving all the information to the, to the, the, the court staff. They came. After everything, the, the commissioner of police did a great job. He got one superintendent of police. I think his name is uh, Moses. Uh, same dog also, I can't remember his name. That's the guy, very thorough, fine officer. But that person, we still have good policemen in this country. Mm -hmm. it, it went, it did, it, it took on turn everything. They checked our account details to see whether there was anywhere money was sent to us or whether we sent any money to anybody. There was nothing like that. Then the guy told me, he said, they have done, they have finished their job, that they don't have any uh, basis to press charges. That if I want, 
I should write to the Commissioner of Police to get a statement, to get a copy of the report that I might need it in the future. Mm -hmm. He told me that I didn't even put that he would move on. So when these people saw that the police did not press charges because they didn't find anything against us, they now wrote me a letter. Under the president, I'll use it. It won't take more than one I mean, two minutes to write read this letter. Mm -hmm. I don't, can I go ahead? Go sir? ahead, please. Thank you. So they wrote through the legal aid council. Demand for compensation for unlawful removal of kidney of Master Adedoyi Salaudin Adebayo, a minor. We are the solicitors to Adebayo Salaudin Adebayo, minor. Here he referred to as our client. Acting through his guardian, Mr. Adedoyi Salman Salaudin, the father of the boy, and on whose behalf we write this letter. We are informed by our client that the minor Adedoyin who is a child under the law, was invited to your hospital by one Emmanuel Melody on the 12th day of February 2023. All about that on the third day, he was examined by our team of doctors at your hospital, that by your team of doctors at your hospital, that he was taken out on the same day for x-ray, that on the 16th day of February 2023, he was led to the Wuse Zone 2 High Court premises by one of your staff in the person of Chica Odili, where he was given an already prepared affidavit to endorse and to swear to on getting back to the hospital on the third day, he was given another document to sign, which document was never read over to him, nor was he allowed to read same before endorsing same. During this period, our client, the minor, had no family member being present with him, that he was subsequently admitted to your hospital called Alliance Hospital, situated in number five, Malufashi Close, area 11. That on the 17th day of February 2023, if there about, and in the evening of that fateful day, our client was taken to your theatre where a surgical operation was carried out on him without any explanation whatsoever. So, as to the implication and the, the after effect of the surgery, which is sub, which was subjected to between midnight of 16th and 17th day of February, that when he woke up on the on on about three days after the surgical operation, he realized that he had been operated on by the right side of his stomach by Dr. Aremu, who he heard his name being mentioned while being wheeled to the theater before the operation. That on regaining consciousness on all about the third day, he sought to leave the hospital, whereupon your, your officers restrained him and kept him in the hospital against his will, thus subjecting him to an act of false imprisonment. On our client, Oluwa Tobi Salaudin Saliman, a minor who was just barely 16 years, 6 months, when he was operated on by Dr. Aremu, a deputy director in Alliance Hospital. Our client, the minor, was eventually discharged on the 22nd day of February 2023, or thereabouts from your hospital. Apparently, one Mr. Emmanuel Melody was the person who lured our client, a minor, to your hospital and facilitated the kidney removal on him. The said Mr. Emmanuel also instructed him not to go home, but to go and lodge in the hotel. That as at the time the minor came for surgery and was on admission, relocating from hotels within Abuja and Malaraba vicinity, on being discharged at the instance of Mr. Emmanuel Melody, one of your employees, his father, who we are also acting on his behalf, had lodged a formal report at the police station about the missing boy. That the boy was carried away to relocate to Lagos, and it was from Lagos where he stayed at the residence of his father's business partner, who called his father that day. We, we accordingly demand for the sum of 100 million naira for the unlawful and illegal act of kidney harvest perpetrated on this minor who has been experiencing pain and suffering irregular fatigue, impairment of quality of life, sleepless night, and emotional trauma, increase in high blood pressure, and increase in blood protein level in the urine. In respect of the father, who, who will also demand a compensation of 50 million naira for the psychosocial, emotional trauma, pain, and suffering, financial hardship, he has also suffered in the course of looking for and continues to suffer for the unlawful kidney removal of his son without any formal consent from him or his son. If our demand is not acceded to in the next seven days of the receipt of this letter, we shall be constrained to institute a, a formal legal action against you and Dr. Aremu and Alliance Hospital. Your faithfully, Mr. F.A. Bakri, Director of Criminal Justice Department,
copy Dr. Aremu, ordinary president. Mm -hmm. This is the letter that we received. So I fired back. The very next day, I we received the letter on the seventh. On the eighth, I wrote back to them. I said, Mr. Patrick, uh, Mr. F. A. Patrick, Director of Criminal Justice Department, Legal Aid Council. Number 22, Porta Court Prison of Gimbia Street. I said, three, demand for compensation for unlawful removal of kidney of Ms. Master. They don't disallow him. We are not a receipt of your letter on the above subject dated 22nd August 2023. While commending you and your organization for assisting the poor and vulnerable persons in the society in accessing justice over the years, I wish to state that your client has misinformed you to a great extent. Hence, a serious misrepresentation of the fact of the case contained in your letter. As you may already be aware, the police, the case is in question, is before the Commissioner of Police, FCT, Police Command, and a detailed investigation regarding the case is ongoing. Sequence to the above, I will respectfully advise parties in this case to wait for the next course of action from the police force, who are the principal law enforcers in the land. We respect your right and privilege to, pre to represent your client in this matter in any legal way, while at the same time being mindful of our own prerogative to defend ourselves before any court of competent jurisdiction or law enforcement body. Yours faithfully, uh, uh, please accept the assurance of my highest consideration. Dr. Otabo, MBBF, FYC, FICS, Medical Director Alliance Hospital. Your uh, uh, Honorary President, mm -hmm. this letter provoked them. Once they got this letter, what did they do? They didn't go to court. Sir. They they asked, they organized a press conference, mm. and they went to talk to Daily Trust, and Daily Trust, they they talked to many newspaper houses. But when the new the other newspaper houses came to ask me of my own position, I explained to them they dropped the cases. They didn't go ahead with the case. But Daily Trust, I don't know what they have with this uh, Barista Lawa. They decided to take and they went, they addressed the press conference and the lawyer that they said because in the press in the in the fallout of the press conference daily trust published a damning publication on the 19th of august um, um to this year and that publication sir if you read it you will think that alliance also is catching boys from the street and and taking their kidneys it, it, they made it look like we are in the center of, of um, a, an organ harvest uh, a hall, but they lie. So after that press conference, I thought the, every, it, it was everywhere. I just kept quiet. So that one went like that. Then, this last Sunday that passed, the lady resurrected the, that one uh, was an a sadic, sadic, um, something. She's not even the health journal, she's not even the health reporter. In that, in that uh, daily trust, she's just the head of uh, the, of investigation department. She came up and wrote on principal things about Alliance Hospital. Honorary President, you don't want to read. Mm -hmm. I have instructed my lawyer to fight a suit against against her. Now, what is happening now is that they are in a media war. Instead of going to the court of law initially, they didn't go. They went to the court of public opinion. Because they wanted to whip up sentiment against Alliance Hospital. But Alliance Hospital is a hospital of integrity. We follow due process. They, before, after this, before this last publication, they took us to NAPTI, National Agency for the Prohibition in the Trafficking of Death. Mm -hmm. they arrested my staff. After initial investigation, they released the staff. NAPTI is still doing their own investigation today. You, are, you didn't want the investigation to continue. Instead, you are blasting falsehood in the newspaper. Other questions, sir. If you go to if you go to US embassy today, by the side of the embassy, the, the people will come and meet you and say, Do you want visa? Do you want this? Do you want this? They will come and meet you and and as towns. There are towns everywhere. If if anything goes wrong with the transaction and the visa did not go well. Is it the U.S. Embassy that they will go and arrest? Is it the U.S. Embassy that is responsible for it? Honorary President, I am not denying the fact that there may be out uh, and organ uh, traffickers in the war in, the, in Nigeria. It is 
not only in Nigeria, it's a multi billion dollar industry all over the world. But she missed Mark. She wanted to use Alliance of Stars as a scapegoat. But thank God that our documentation is intact. Because she cannot fault us before the law, she is going to the public opinion to rubbish our image. Yet today, so to tell you how, how, how low they have gone, they went to the, the, the chairman of the Nigerian Fire Association in a uh, um, uh, uh, Garaki branch. And, and that is supposed to be a future judge. These are supposed to be lawyers. They released a print statement without even hearing from me. Shameful print statement. You have to let me read it to you, sir. Go ahead, go uh, ahead, go ahead, please. Okay, print statement, Nigerian Bar Association, Garaki branch, Abuja. Condemnation of the illegal kidney trade in Abuja and offer of free Dr. Otabo. legal assistance. Dr. Otabo, yes, take some yes, water, please take some water. Please. I'm fine, I'm okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, okay, go ahead. Start. Condemnation of the illegal kidney trade in Abuja and offer of free legal assistance to victims of such. The attention of the branch has been drawn to an investigative report published by Daily Trust newspaper on the 10th December 2023 with the headline investigation inside Abuja's kidney market where the rich prey on the poor. The report exposed a shadow economy of illegal kidney trade or harvest in Nigeria's federal capital territory, which target and lure young men and women from low economic backgrounds to sell their kids. The branch condemned in strong terms this harvesting and trading of organs as they are not only shady, cruel, inhuman, offensive to Section 54 of the National Health Act 2024, Prescribe that prescribe sell or trade in human organs. It is needful to state that the Istanbul Declaration Against Organ Trafficking and Transplant Story in 2008, which Nigeria is a signatory to, proclaim that the poor who sell their organs are being exploited, whether by rich people within their own countries or by transplant stories from abroad. The declaration therefore prohibits transplant commercialization, which targets the vulnerable transplant tourism and organ harvest. In view of of the fact that a certain hospital, Alliance Hospital Garki Abuja, was allegedly indicted by the report. A, 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 a lawyer who spent five years in the university is quoting the report of one journalist and, and is using that as his basis, indicted by report, and that some of the victims of the kidney trade have instituted action against the said hospital. The branch has mandated its health and medical law committee to keep a tab on the pending actions to ensure that the justice is done and to equally offer a pro bono legal assistance and support to any victim of the kidney trade. The branch called on relevant government agencies and professional bodies to work assiduously to meet this ugly trend in the board by sanitizing and adopting strict regulatory regime for organ transplant. One Obioma is a one with the Esquire chairman. So this is the shame of of a lawyer, of of a, a so called chairman of any branch of, of the Nigerian Bar Association. You heard you read something on these pages of newspaper. You ran this. A case that you already know that is in court, that is supposed to be least pending, and you are bringing a president. The ordinary president, I thank you for the opportunity that you have given me to explain. What I can tell you is this that uh, Imam and Melo, they are very, the person that they are pointing to us as the staff of Alliance Hospital that is responsible for this thing. I don't know him. We don't know him. I've never seen him before. It is he. Because... Uh, but has he, has he been arrested? I don't know. Okay. I don't know him. I don't know anything about him, sir. Okay, so go I ahead. don't know. Mm. See, this, what is happening now is failure of parenting. Because there is no way you can even tell how old he is. Uh, my 16 years old boy that is in the university, if you see him, you would think that he's 21. He, he, because of that, that's why we put the regulations. Go and see, sir. When, you, when people go to hospital these days, when they, tell the, when they tell the hospital their date of birth, does the hospital ask for their birth certificate? Mm -mm. You, you, it's, you, it's, it's, it's even your word that we will take. If you tell me that you were born 19, 70. That's what I will write down. But beyond that, we wait and death to tell them, go to court and so and feed that bit of your age and the fact that you are related to this patient and the fact that no money is exchanging hands. And he's saying that then the, the lawyer is telling the police that he was paid, the boy was paid 
paid only one billion naira. Is, is the government supposed to be going to jail based on the National Health Act that says that money is not supposed to be exchanging hands? What happens is this: what the what if if the, the Daily Trust newspaper really wanted to do a, a, a clean job, they should have focused on the people that are involved in this thing rather than trying to victimize and paint alliances with all black. Is the person that said that it's collecting money or if that is that is transacting with this thing behind the scenes. So if my patient leaves my, my hospital and crosses the gate and goes out, I don't have any control over that patient again. There are people hanging under the mango tree, but if you have been to Alliance Hospital, if you see there there's a there's a park under the mango tree, you have a lot of boys. I, I was told, let me shock you. Just yesterday, my chief security officer came to tell me that that two people were fighting under the mango tree some time ago. And they were fighting because of um, transactions concerning patient referral and and uh, uh, organ donation. I said, are you serious? This is not before me. I don't know anything about it. The hospital is not involved. The, 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 you cannot you cannot tie me to this nonsense. I have too much dignity for that. But but because because of this one hundred and fifty million that they asked for and I refuse to give them, they have taken me to the public. They have taken me to the press. They have taken me to the social media, and they are still fighting me. But God will fight them. Thank you. Because my intention <laughs> is to help Nigerians. My intention was not monetary. I just told you how we we are, we are, we are treating a woman for five million naira, and I'm not complaining about the bill. Last month, last last two weeks ago, we came to your place and we did uh, this outreach. If you know the number of people that we saved, who were who would have developed a stroke, many of them they were rushed from that screening center to to the hospital to to, re, to regulate their blood pressure. I'm not in it for money. Oh my president, if I'm if I'm in this hospital for money. I will not, if, if it is money, I will not be in the hospital. Mm. Is okay. so, 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 this is a lie from the pit of hell, and they are fighting me with everything that they have, but they will fail. Leave this matter to go to court because they know that they don't have evidence and they will fall to their face when it comes to the court. That's why they decided to take it from the court of law to the court of public opinion. And they are writing all sorts of nonsense. As we speak, there are at least so after we started kidney transplant, a lot of people have come to learn from us, and they are doing their own kidney transplant now. As we speak, almost eight or so ten kidney transplant takes place in this Abuja now every week. They have not mentioned any other hospital. Mm. And it's only allowed us to because they have a vested interest. Uh, Dr. Otabo. Yes, sir. You have been given an opportunity to say your own side of the story. And the reason why the thing even worry me now because the person way munch them to me say see the doctor where you they identify yourself with, and I say make I call you, make we hear your own side of the story. Thank you very much for your time. Sir, sir, just just one one thing. Mm. So it, it also happens that when I was looking at the consent that that uh, uh, the person that witnessed the consent for this young boy. Eh? Mm. I also thought that it's Emmanuel Melody. Uh -huh. The same Emmanuel they Melody they, they claim to be uh, one of your staff. If, 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 how can my staff come and come and uh, sign as witness to the consent? Because consent by a relative, if the man came, he said it's his relative, and he wrote his name and signed. How can that person be my staff? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Doctor. So, so there, 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 is a, there, is a, there is an organized crime going on behind me, but the minister decided to bring me in as this is as being the center of the crime. Doctor Otabo. Yes, sir. Doctor Otabo. Yes, sir. Doctor Otabo. Yes, sir. How many times I call you? Every time. Tell me any medical doctor that is as popular as you in the in the whole of Nigeria at the moment. I don't know, sir. Now, mango way ripe. Now, uh, now they attract stone. Continue to do your good and allow God to take care of the rest. 
That does not mean yes. that if anybody tries rubbish, you will not handle the person your level uh, uh, yes. at, at, at a human level. The one yes, that is supposed to be left for God to handle, you allow God to take care of the rest. The good way you yes, they do go follow you and he go Amen. vindicate you. God is preparing you for something greater in life. You remember that other case of that young man we come here, we talk, say, in friend, tell him, say, the he uh, sell his own kidney, and then he can't sell his own yeah. one million naira. Where well, I even offer to assist the sister. Yeah. Where they come begin, small time, they go demand money, small time. They, me, we want help. It can be like, say, Nabdole, he be. After a while, she sent a letter saying that the brother died. Una, una, don't forget. Say the brother don't die. Wait, wait. I can't uh, condole them. Only for her to write another letter. Say, na lie. Say, thank God. Say, she, she don't do that thing to try. May she see how the reaction will be. Are we related? You brought your complaint here. I did not collect cover from you. Now you... Your family, they desperate, so scattered. You will be girl, now she, now she they cater for these uh, boys. And I will make I develop interest in her be that. Not considering her way of dressing and, 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 and appearance. On normally, me, where would I know? The way she look and the way I for talk say I know. But because of the responsibilities where they are had, I ignore the looks, I ignore the attitude, the the negative attitude. I ignored everything and said, let me, me see what I can do in her life. But it be like say, blackmail, they easy yeah. for people to do. Dr. Otabo, yeah. continue to they do your good. Not be the I same you remember, now. Let me mm. talk, I, I remember something. Mm. They, they told the boy, his, the, his friend, they told the boy, and the, that uh, man of Melody, they told the boy that if you say that you are less than 18, they will not do it, they will not, uh, uh, they will not accept you. Mm. That he should say that he's above 18. Because if he was on the money that the, that boy was going to give him. Mm. Okay. So Doc he lied to God. Dr. Otabo. Yes, sir. Continue to do your good. Me. Thank you, sir. I don't call you because Thank the team paying me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Have a wonderful I'm day. Great. Thank you for the opportunity for yes, me to speak yes. to Nigerians. Mm. I'm grateful. You are not talking Thank to you. Nigerians. You are talking to the whole world. Yes. yes sir. Thank you. Thank I you very much. That. God Thank bless you. Sir. Amen. Thank yes, sir. Make we appreciate Dr. Otabo. <laughs> are they suspect ganging up? Are they suspect? Abby? Serious gang up. Serious gang up. Serious yes. gang up. What yes. happens there? You see, if it, this lady, where they talk about, mm. you know, you because you really, really want to help her. When you they ask her what she want to do, mm -hmm. he says she want to learn how to code. Uh -huh. So, Naomi and Uyi Konsu can find, we go teach her, she go come for our programming training. Yes. She and the brother came. Mother Happiness the was sitting way there. They come out in kidney. Yeah, Mother they Happiness. They attended the training. They hear if it, Mother, mm. Mother mm. Happiness did there. She said, okay. That time she was seated here, she said, okay, when I get laptop, they say no. She said, I go give her two laptop. So okay. nothing go be... So my, my the happiness... Yes, my dad, they mm. came here. They came to the training, went to pick laptop from my happiness. If you see the attitude, my dad, present, mm. even my staff self, uh, they were irritated. And when she got to my happiness place, you could not see the... I can't tell so her, that I can't tell her, you right. know these people are giving you the word of what everybody is giving you the training is worth hundred thousand naira. your brother hundred thousand naira, two hundred thousand naira. my happiness they give you laptop worth one one fifty thousand naira, three hundred thousand plus this one five hundred thousand minus the cash gift what night president don't give you now this attitude you go come present you need to be very very thankful to everybody where be say uh, god they use it show concern now the two will just happen ordinary present we not just tell you because they're one of those things at a point in time they can't gather themselves go front of alliance mm. hospital can they do video with their imagine. elder brother can they do video can't call me uh, uh, they don't do video for front of alliance hospital 
I say, uh -huh. why well, would they call me? The next thing I see I'm for social media. Doctor Tabo, just take heart. <laughs> if you know the kind of stones where they where they where they come. Me, I know they dodge my stone. No? If you come, I go head down. <laughs> if you come, I go head down. <laughs> uh, my own uh, throw the stone. I go face the stone. You see. This thing don't affect Dr. Otabo. Uh, ordinary President, mm -hmm. your concluding statements where you talk say, na mango where ripe where were, na in the attract to, na be the truth. You see, sources attracts a lot of challenges. Yeah. It attracts envy. It attracts people who are looking for desperate means of cashing out without working. Now, uh, like you ask him, I don't know any medical doctor that is so liked, that is so loved. He does his work uh, diligently. You can see not only that he does his work diligently, he, the time he gives in educating the public makes him even more popular <laughs> than others. And not only that he does that, Free some medical charge. doctors will do that, but we now think that, oh, we have given more than enough. But you can see also how much he gives in charity. And his hospital is growing. So most people, both his professional colleagues, most of them will not like him. And uh, then those who are, uh, who are looking for how to cash out are also looking for opportunities. Amar Sadona in Adelili, he said those that are benefiting from medical tourism are fighting Dr. Otabo. And those benefiting from chemical fertilizer importation are warming up to fight the organic fertilizer man in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and not true. Yes, yes. Not true. Even people who claim say then they do the same organic fertilizer will be saying are fake. Where yeah. then they do when do they walk. Make you prepare. Okay. And that one they come. Ibrahim Please. Ibrahim is hack. He said when I read the newspaper publication, I only realized how empty and shallow the National Health Act is. This calls for a policy review. Dr. Otabo is about to be framed. But this has failed. Um, Ali Umar say good morning, my ordinary president. Uh, Edith say we are we stand for you in prayers, doctor sir. Uh, uh, Leslie Nampon, he said, Doctor Otta, but because you are treating people free, meaning you are collecting their pos means customer from their hospital oh oh because dr otterboy is treating people free other hospitals they, they don't collect their pos be that where then they make their money oh and, and the painful part to okay. them be say even mm. as he's doing that he's not diminishing just the same thing that is happening here you are giving out and you are it's growing more than those than who are, are not giving out Monyego, uh, he said, Dr. Otta, but please, if there is any place around the hospital where some touts can gather, please clear that area like our ordinary president normally does. Don't leave any stone unturned. In the case of that area, a government approved park, they there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And then, person fit just come say, no be your place, I come. You know, they for front of your gate. I don't know if you understand. Unless with this one now, I go advise Dr. Otrabo make it liars with police, DSS, and NIA. Make them send their men. Anybody way to hang around there without any cogent reason. Make them pick and make you go explain. Good idea, yes? yes sir. <clears throat> uh last last they say he should shoot the sue the press for five billion naira by by the time they close down it will be a lesson for other press companies and they should they they should the one they should be the one helping nigeria out they but they are the major problem in the country mm. Mm. my own is even with the nba gary mm. key branch mm. You would just, your letter was sent to you as the chairman of the branch. You did not even want to hear from the other no, side. According to the content, a letter was not sent to him. He read it. 
on the daily trust newspaper you didn't even make any inquiry i said god has given judgment uh, and this and you went on to branch just now me. basically where i get respect for for ah. mm, uh, i don't want to talk ordinary president Mm. Uh, I know one talk. Now, um, some people, professional <laughs> colleagues. Colleagues. Are we against, <laughs> are we against <laughs> what they did you now? Know, it's not as if we are supporting them. Say, good lawyers <laughs> there, but not be every person <laughs> where we are weak. <laughs> Carry hang. They don't do. Uh, <laughs> Mohammed Ibrahim, Ibrahim he say with this kind of attitude you get from people, no wonder ordinary president is is sometimes sometimes get rude to some people. Pe get rude to some people are out of nowhere. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Baba Kachala is a ha 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 champion, my ordinary president. 